so to figure out your hourly rate, you got to think about what you're doing. Um, you're going out and you're offering a service to a customer and your technicians are going to houses and they're billing out time. Okay. And so every time, you know, in a year, that one technician only has so much time that he can bill out. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so, and each technician has the same amount of time that he can bill out. He's going to work one year. You're mm -hmm. only going to work so many days. It comes out to about 2000 hours a year that mm -hmm. he's going to have available to bill to the customer. So then we also know that technicians don't bill out all of the hours that they work. I right. think national average, they bill 50 to 60%. So just say 50, I think I do mine at 55. You could do, mm -hmm. depending on what you want to do, you could do it 50, 55, 60. So let's just assume 50 for this mm -hmm. video. So a technician that works 2,000 hours, bills out 50% of his hours, he has 1,000 billed hours in a year. Mm -hmm. That means mm -hmm. the customers paid him for a thousand of his hours. So that means all of your expenses need to be covered in the time that the technician mm -hmm. is able to bill, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you have three technicians, they can work a total of 6,000 hours, which means you have 3,000 billable hours, which mm -hmm. means that all of your expenses have to be divided by 3,000. So sum yep. up all of your expenses, everything it takes to run your business, mm -hmm. all of your overhead, all of your costs, right? Your office, your trucks, your gas, your CSR, your general manager, the owner pay, your marketing costs, your truck insurance, literally everything. Pull it all into a spreadsheet, add it all up, and then divide it by 3,000. And that would mm -hmm. be how much it costs you per billable hour to be at somebody's house. Mm -hmm. And it's probably more than most people are charging right now. Right. And so once you know that number, now you know, okay, these are all my expenses. This is my available billable hours. This is how much it costs me per billable hour. Then you can add profit margin in there. Mm -hmm. So then you can add in 30% profit margin. Mm -hmm. So you can take your cost per billable hour, divide it by 0.7, and that will give you your hourly rate that you need to be charging in order to maintain 30% profit margins. Mm -hmm. And and I would shoot for 30% because at the end of the day, you're going to shoot for 30, you're going to land at 20. Right. And if you land at 25, great. You just made another 5%. Mm 